Hey, everybody. How you doing? I am the wizard. And on this Halloween, I will be reading a couple of stories from a world of full spooky stories. 50 tales to make your spine twinkle. So enjoy this. And happy Halloween. Okay, start off. The Grave Mound. Late one night, a soldier was passing a churchyard when he saw a man sitting on the Grave Mound. What are you doing there? He asked. I'm keeping a promise, the man answered. The rich farmer buried in this grave was selfish and greedy all his life but one day he saw my hungry children and took pity on them he gave them food and in return he asked that I shall sit all night at his grave where he died so here I am it's on an eerie it's an eerie place among these tombstone said the soldier I will keep you company so they sat together at midnight both the men suddenly felt a chill out of the darkness the devil appeared get off that brave mound he cried the man laying beneath it belongs to me no replied the soldier firmly we don't take orders from you. The devil shrewd. He offered them a bag of gold, but the soldier refused. Fill my boot with gold, the soldier said, and then we'll get on this grave mound. Agreed, said the devil with a grin. While he went to fetch some gold, the soldier cut the sole off his boot and then placed it over a hole in the ground. When the devil returned, he tripped. He tipped two bags of gold coins into the boot, but they disappeared through the hole. You'll need more than that, laughed the soldier. The devil fetched two more bags of gold to his annoyances. They still weren't enough to fill the boot, so he went to get more. Several hours later, he returned with a sack of gold. However, the boot swallowed up every coin. Then the devil flew into range. He reached out to grab both the men. But at that very moment, the sun came up, and with the first ray of light, he vanished. So the soldier and his friend collected up all the gold. Half of it they gave to the poor, and the rest they kept for themselves. Now, on to the next story. The place where there were no graves. Long ago, there was a man whose wife died leaving him deeply sad. His friends tried to comfort him and told him that as months passed, he would not feel so bad but every time he saw a grave he was reminded of how much he missed her I must find a place where there are no graves he told his friends so he said goodbye to them and set off to find a land where nobody was buried the man journeyed 
from town to town asking everyone he met if they knew of a place where there were no graves but nobody could help him. After traveling a year along river valleys and across desert sands, he came to a town where he could see no graves at all. At last, he stopped his worry, weary search and found lodging in the house of a sheik. On the first night, the sheik welcomed him by serving a feast with a great show of hospitality. He offered the man some roast meat. The man thanked him and asked politely about his family. Where is your father? He required. This is my leg, said the sheik, pointing to the dish of roast meat. The rest of him is up there on the shelf. He explained to the man that when anyone fell ill in that town, they were killed and eaten. The horror horrified a man didn't want to stay there a moment longer when the meal was over he slipped out of the sheik's halls hurried away from the place with no graves and returned happily to his own home Now we're going to read Counting the Bodies. Two f fishermen who had a good day catch were carrying their fish home in a basket. When it began to rain, Let's shelter under a tree in the graveyard, suggested one of them. We can divide up the fish while the storm blows over. As they walked through the gate to the graveyard, a couple of fish slid out of the basket. Don't worry, said one man to the other. We'll pick them up on the way out. The two fishermen found a tombstone beneath a tree where they sat and started counting out the fish. One, f f one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you. Meanwhile, a boy taking a shortcut home through the graveyard heard their voices. Terrified by what they were saying, he hurried away. When he arrived home, he was pale and shooken. God and the devil are in the graveyard sharing, sharing out the bo sharing out the bodies, he told his father. Don't talk nonsense, said his father. It's true, I heard them, the boy insisted. Stop making up stories, said his mother. But the boy's sister listened. Why, why did I show me, she said. So the two ran back to the graveyard and hid themselves at the by the gate. The rain had stopped and the fishermen had just finished counting their fish. That's done, said one fisherman So, to the other. Now let's get these two by the gate. When they heard this, the boy and his sister ran home faster than the wind and wouldn't even come out of their rooms for supper. <laughs> well everybody I hope all of you enjoyed this Halloween uh, story and if you did can you go thumbs up for the wizard yeah, go thumbs up for the wizard. I would love that if you could do that for me. 
Also, if you're new and you came here, hey, hit that subscribe button for the wizard and subscribe to this channel here. Also, hit that notification bell whenever someone uploads here, you will be notified. But until my next, or until the next time I see you, y'all have a super fabulous Halloween and a safe one. Halloween.